Yeah, welcome once again to Potter's Media, the place where we talk Christian gist. Uh, we do some bits of doctrine and of course, we do a little bit of apologetics. And today in this video, uh, we're going to be seeing some about three prophets. Um, we'll be looking at, at the person of um, Prophet Joshua Ingler. I hope I get that pronunciation right. And also be looking of uh, the man we have looked on this channel talking about Bishop Fei, because recently he came up with a video again concerning uh, his prophecy concern, of course, concerning Nigeria. And uh, finally, there is one new person uh, which we'll be looking into. And that person, I will leave his name. He has some kind of association with the person of Apostle Aramos. Uh, he has also made some prophecies and made some declaration which he said is from god concerning um concerning what is currently going on in the political space and of course in nigeria uh, so we'll be looking into that shortly but before we go into that i i want us to understand you no know, uh, whenever we shoot videos like this i have a um, specific purpose specific reason why i do most of this my video and for this video i also have something i had i have on mind which i want to achieve by the reason of this my video we'll be looking into some prophecies that was said by this prophet and speaking of which um the person of prophet joshua uh he just released some compilation of clips uh, on his youtube channel and we saw him reaffirming his initial position you know um, before the election sometime around last year and even in 2021 he has been talking about um, elections talking about the who the president is and he is very clear in his prophetic words i uh, well maybe he's having some kind of support for the person of tinubu or maybe it's the lord showing him that i cannot tell but however in most of his clips and his prophecies which he claimed are from god that he has seen clearly supporting the person of all clearly um he, he has been seen clearly saying that the person of tinubu will be a next president in all of his predictions and in all of the compilation of the video uh, which he has done in the past it was just very clear that this man talked about the person of tinubu the next president of this country will be like a cyrus And I want to say this. That person is not a perfect will of God. It's a soul. That person is going to be permitted by God to come in. This is a triangle battle. The two at the bottom are going to struggle why the smartest and the fastest is going to move from nowhere to there money experience and the god factor i call it the god factor god is dealing with nigeria david is not yet matured david is still taking care of the flocks that is why the Lord will leave David for some time. We must have anointed David. But the David that is anointed is not known by us. It's not obvious. The ones you think is the David. It's not the David. The David is not known. 2031, you are going to understand my vision. But we must pray that history should not repeat itself the second time. 2023, this year, the person you hated so much will still be the person that will rule you. This is permissive. God is permitting it. If I say Tinubu will be your next president, you will stone me. If I say Tinubu will be your next president, you will stone me. If I say Tinubu will be your next president, you will stone me. Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing. Why do you use anybody's health to abuse them? You are, as a man of God, it is a sin to insult people using their health, their age to insult them, and their sickness to insult them. You did not create them. 
you did not own their eggs. You are going to be old. You are going to understand sickness. If you want to preach, preach what is wrong. Don't insult people with their battles of life. The reason why I feel in my own thought why this is happening. We've shown too much hatred, hatred to the man that we. The Bible said that Leah was hated. And for the reason that she was hated, God opened her womb and shut the womb of Rachel. You cannot show hatred the way you have shown hatred to His Excellency, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu. The way you have elect, the way you have shown hatred to Him as Christians is beyond the measure. Hate the system, don't hate the man. You don't like him, you have used your votes to do that. It shouldn't go beyond this. When it gets past now, it's unchristian, it's unscriptural, it's not biblical. You have no right to use somebody's sickness to insult him. Hear me, I'm not close to anybody. I'm not close to anybody. Nobody. You see me, I was out of the country nobody i don't spoke the mind of god alone, but every truth have to be spoken the way it is we occupy nigeria took good luck jonathan out a christian and now we want to show that we love christians hypocrites everywhere you have shown the grip of corruption let's eat it together hear me i'm saying it as a prophet nothing new god will do his own thing and i say to you you said there is a david i've not seen a david the david is still in the jungle he has not been discovered 2031 you will see your david you might not like what i say go and watch i started talking about this Two years ago, I said to you, the David is coming, but the David is not the one you think. Mm, you, it's not the one. Even me, I don't know the David. But I know the David is somewhere. He's somewhere. God has hidden him so that no one will see him. If not, they will kill him. Is Nigeria not going to make progress? We will make progress. Is this not going to get better? It will get better. It will usher us to the real thing we are looking for. And hear me, whether you like it or not, what is instituted, we usher what is about to come. Abuse me, insult me, I don't even care. Me, I don't know what is called insult because even my name is where I am. Anything you want to say, say about me. Some of them became some of them became prophets overnight. People that are not prophesying. They are now exchanging, collecting money behind prophesying. Teachers that teach the word, pastors that that breaking bottles, anointing everybody everywhere. When we talk, if they want to talk, they will insult with prophet. Fake, fake, fake. Now we are not calling you fake. Oh, you made mistake. God keep you. hallelujah hallelujah yeah all right from this clip uh, i think it's just very obvious what we there are some key takeaways which we can get from what um prophet ingla has been able to compile which he calls confirmation of his prophecy first of all we can establish from his video that um bola ahmed tinubu will be ruling for eight years i mean for him to have said that the david which god actually anoints is not yet seen and it's not even among any of the david that they we've got to see the men of god anointing and speaking of which of course we know he was referring to the person of peter obi so 
from what we could infer from all of these prophecies and confirmation of his post-election prophecy is that whatsoever the case might be this current um result this current declaration of bola ahmed tinubu of being the president elect is going to rule over nigeria and that from the year 2031 from the year 2031 that is when we'll begin to see the david you know the kind of people which the people are expecting so from his explanation um he have made it known and clear that tinubu is more like a saw come on if tinubu is more like a saw i think if you are to ask me that um, analogy did not quite go well because you know in the case of the bible saul was actually the ruler the people wanted it was not god's decision for them all right but because they wanted some kind of definition of a king so god decided to give to them saul so if he is bringing a comparison with the person of Tinubu to be the soul, I think if that should go with Bible analogy, who would the people actually want from everything we have seen in the political space in Nigeria right now and the tension we are seeing everywhere, the post-election tension, the post-election alignment of people, I think the people's decision and the people's will, if you to, if you are to ask me, is, is, is clearly Peter will be. So, so if um, Prophet Joshua Ingler is suggesting that uh, we are seeing the current, what we are seeing current now is like God giving us a soul. I think that soul should actually be the person of Peter. Obi. Now, the reason why I'm saying all these things is because uh, we know that the case of Peter B is currently in the courts. And from all indication, people are hopeful that this result with that people are hopeful that this um this is court case we come out victorious as a matter of fact we've got to see um, prophets coming to prophesy that peter will be will eventually become the president of nigeria and this is one reason why i decided to do this video because here we've got to see here we have seen prophet ingler coming to say he heard from god and these are the visions which god has shown to him and we'll be looking into the video of the person of bishop Fay also I know not just only Bishop Fei, there are a whole lot of prophets that have come to give their prophecies consigning who they think would be the president or would they consider God as spoken to them that will eventually become the president one thing we do know for sure is that yes Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been declared the president-elect and uh, we've got people be going to court and from all indication people are believing are trusting that the case of people will be in court will come out victorious however i haven't said that i think one more thing i just need to chip in here is that i really don't quite agree with what um prophet joshua ingler is saying here i mean he said maybe the reason why god allowed bola Tinubu to come into you know to be declared winner or the just concluded election might be because we've got to see a whole lot of pastors coming to anoint um the person of peter be coming to put their weight and uh, i don't really understand what he mean when he said that there are people that are endorsing endorsing their david because of ministerial position that they might get i uh, will i don't know if he was referring to Peter B or if he was referring to Article, but one thing we do know for sure is that Peter B was seen moving from one church to another. So I just want to assume he was talking about Peter B. But I don't think that should, that is enough reason that the fact that I don't think now this is me, this is my opinion. I don't really think that the fact that Peter B was going from church to church or the fact that we've got to see some clergy, some pastor coming out to speak and say we are standing behind Peter B does not mean they are anointing him. I mean, everyone has a right to, you know recommend or campaign recommend or recommend everyone has the right to recommend a candidate or campaign for his candidate i mean if you are to ask if you are to ask anybody these are christian leader and ideally they would only lean towards what they feel will benefit not just nigeria but also the church so then coming out to then coming up to say they are putting their weights behind Peter B. I don't really see it as though trying to, you know, gain influence and all of that. But that aside, well, we'll be seeing the video of 
person of Bishop Faye, and here he will see Bishop Faye coming again to reaffirm what he has said. And speaking of the prophecy of Peter B eventually becoming the president, he, he said again, What do I see about what is to come? Who is to seat on the seat in Asorok? As I've spoken two years ago, and I'm still speaking to you now about the counter of the Lord for Nigeria. I want to first start by saying that by the grace of God, that Peter Obi will still be the next president of Nigeria. The counsel of the Lord will stand in this matter. The counsel of the Lord will stand in this matter. People say, uh, people have said he will come back and change his prophecy. I want to say to you, even if anything changes, even if things do not come out the way I've said it, I will want you to hold me accountable and I will come back and share another broadcast. But I'm confident in what the Lord has said. I'm confident in what I've seen. Psalm 33 verse 11 says, The counsel of the Lord stands forever and His intentions can never be shaken. And this is my confidence over Nigeria. Hear me carefully. Peter Obi shall be our next president in Jesus name and nothing will change that so rejoice in that remain confident in what the Lord has said I know there are a lot of manipulations in INEC already um, INEC there are a lot of manipulations uh, right now but the Lord showed me I was caught up in the vision few days ago and I saw some people exposing exposing INEC I saw their name I saw a name with M, I saw another name with A. Um, I don't want to say, pronounce those things out because of all kinds of uh, security issues that has happened in the past week since I released prophecy, all kinds of calls from security agencies and threat. But I'm saying that so as to let you know that the Lord has spoken and his prophet has heard, the Lord has shown and his prophet has seen. This will happen this will happen every plan to alter god's counsel for this nation will be thwarted in the name of jesus so keep your hands crossed however keep your mouth open keep decreeing what god has said over nigeria and it will come to pass peter will be, shall be our president even after the interim interception God bless you and keep you. Now, with all these prophecies, you know, uh, Joshua Ingla coming now to say, Tinubu inferring that Tinubu will rule for eight years, and we see Bishop Fee also coming. And the way Bishop Fee can put in his name in line, that he knows what he's saying, that eventually Peter B will come out to be the next president. Now, he got me asking the question, does it mean that God is an author of confusion? Of course, our God is not an author of confusion. One thing will be certain at the end of all these things. Obvious is very plain that one among them is not truly representing the mind of God because one thing about prophecy is that prophecy is not just coming to speak there's also need for us to represent what is in the mind of God I mean there are I mean there are every possibility that a prophet can see a thing and maybe gives it a wrong interpretation now that is understandable okay but when we get to see people like this coming to give bold pronunciation bold pronouncement it's just obvious that one among them is obviously not hearing from God or maybe perhaps um, not actually representing what is in the mind of God and this thing is actually possible because if you have studied the scripture you will discover that in first king chapter 22 i think verse 22 whereby god wanted to deceive a king into war and uh, the strategy which god decided to deceive this king into war for their destruction is to send lying spirits to their prophets prophet that these kings consult to know how the weather is before they go into war so what god did was to permit a lying spirit to go and lie to them so that they can confuse those kings and eventually those kings will be destroyed in battle. So what I'm just trying to say here is that the events are unfolding and we have got to see a whole lot of prophets coming up to claim that um, God said this, God said that. But as time goes on, we will get to know exactly who actually is hearing from God and who actually are giving up um, first false prophecy and who is actually subscribing to lying spirit i mean the events will be there to unfold you know 
you might think that there's no need for us to talk about this thing but of course if you have observed the political space of the nation one of the things that people keep pointing out is that there have been some kind of division when it comes to you know tribal division people have been playing the tribal game to divide people and uh, some uh, some have been playing the religious game to divide people and of course all these prophets have people that they listen to so if we don't get to talk about them if we don't get to begin to single out some of this you know prophecy prophecy so that we can know people that we should listen to you know they will keep causing a whole lot of damage so there's a need for us to actually examine their prophetic stream and so that we will know whenever they come to talk we, we should listen to i mean people's mind will be liberated and being free from oppressors and that is why we decide to do all of this video so we'll be looking into um this person this is a pastor I want to look into what he said um his prophecy um his name is tolu agbola who happens to be in association with apostle arem osai he has also weighed in into what is happening in nigeria and he gave a prophecy and even in that prophecy he mistakenly called uh, the person of Tini, uh, the person of peter will be uh the president and he has his explanation for all of that so let's listen to him and, and no matter how it savvy you are there's a data traffic that you cannot intercept you don't know what moved from your voting center because now we know that even though it was uploaded and everybody jubilated it, what was uploaded did not appear anywhere. Uh, Abby, if you throw stone, imagine this is how mysterious the season is. That means if you throw stone in mid air, we won't see the stone, but it must land. I'm saying what was uploaded and everybody went home at 10 o'clock did not land anywhere. It means there's a landing ground that is not the agreed one. And if there's a substitute landing ground, it means there are dynamics of the operation of that new landing ground before it comes to where you can see it. So there can be 200 of you that came. And suddenly there can be 2,000 voters in your polling unit. But Jesus knew that election results will be tampered with. Jesus knew. I know. I told you on Tuesday now. Jesus knew that it would be tampered with. What I told you is not even everything because I know in part. Oh, they will fight. They will harass people. Jesus knew. Oh, the youth will start revolting. It has started in Benin. They started burning tires this afternoon. So there's nothing that is happening that Jesus did not know. But I know the plans I have for you. That's his word to us as a nation. Somebody said, Reverend, you have been very vocal about Peter. What if he ultimately doesn't win? I will be standing on everything that Jesus told me. He does not lie. That the land of the rising sun has produced a son who will sit as president of this nation according to the word of the lord we were not looking for prophetic gimmicks he just burdened us with the plight of a nation and what he revealed to us by the prophetic is his plan and we trust him that in time he will bring that plan to pass that my son will not grow up in a corrupt nation and i'm not thinking relocation i have heard too much before certain people began to nurse presidential ambitions jesus showed me a repaired nation and that's why i stayed in prayer at least i've been doing prayers for over 14 years stretch that one day redemption will come into this nation and the day the plans began i saw it i was in my room in lagos and he said stage one i will switch your president in two days that was when yarato left and died 